folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 25 of the Let's Play 3.0 series, and in this episode, we are going hunting for Black Blood. So the the next spell that we need for our Sorcerer Spellbook requires Black Blood, and I believe all the spells from now on also need uh, Black Blood. So because we can only get one blood per spell page by deconstructing a spell page, what we're going to do is we're going to go up and vid visit the Children of Jill caves, which are... where are they now? They're up up here somewhere on this, on this little bit of snow that comes down. There's four caves in total that kind of dot their way along the side of a cliff up here. And they're full of particularly nasty sort of demon bird almost bat creatures uh, weird weird looking things uh, and also in very dark caves as well and each one of those caves has a i think there are three skull bosses at the end of each one uh, and when we harvest their corpses we will get black blood from those bosses so we're going to head up there and do that today uh, but before we do that, I just want to show you that the random named uh, Apra Master Blacksmith, Tier 4 Blacksmith, that we got in the, the last episode, out of pure luck, he's now tamed up. So we can now go here uh, and stick it on. I think you have to take this one off first here, and then put that one on. Drop you. In fact, we can get rid of all those items because we don't need them anymore. So we'll just dismantle them, and there we go. She's now on there. Hey, so I can't remember what that symbol means. I will. I will check it out on the wiki, and I will. I will stick it on the screen now to let you know what what that symbol does to any weapons that we craft in here. Doesn't give us any extra spells over the tier three uh, spells, or I don't know what you call it, recipes. So the the tier three gave us the reinforce, which is the important one because that's the cheap way of making steel reinforcements. But this will this will either help like the it's either the damage, the durability, or what would the other thing be? There's there's three types and there's three things that can do. But I'll stick it on the screen and and let you know. Uh, are you still crafting those? Yep, yeah, still the grind is on for more building pieces. Uh, I will let you see that after talking about it for many, many episodes, they, we now have lighting all the way around here. And there's lighting in the middle of that floor. And on this floor, we've got... Well, we don't have lighting in the middle, but we do have lighting all the way around here. So it won't be quite so dark now. All good. Right, so we need to prepare to go and get up to the children of Jill. Uh, let me just quickly check. I think I did check this already, but I want to try out the imbue, sp imbue spirit. Which one is that in? Not that one. Porcelain light, that one. Sorcerer imbue soul onto their own flight. That one. So it's burlap pouches we need, and we don't need any special, um, what do you call it? Corruption levels. Like you don't have to be 20 or 40%. So burlap pouches. So let's go take a bunch of them. We'll take all the ones we've got. They're really easy to craft. It's only some twine, putrid meat, and some bone, which we've, we've got in abundance. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll put the daggers and swap out those two. We're going to need some food for... We'll take the Lincia with us. She should be following us about somewhere. Uh, so let's get her some... A stack of gruel. I'll do. I still get, keep getting a lot of comments about feeding my... Are you... Is she following me? Doesn't look like she is. Damn, where is she? There she is. 
scouting, not following. Uh, so follow. Put that on there. Chuck that. Yeah, I keep I keep getting a lot of comments about giving them the various foods to either boost the strength weapon damage or the agility weapon damage for the for the guys up there. And quite frankly, at this moment in time, I, I don't really need to because uh, they're coping p perfectly well with everything that I've got. Uh, let me just check. My water skins are full. They are, and I've also got some water as well. Uh, have you got any? Okay. Right, so I'm now going to have to make my way up into the north and then over in this direction over here. And I will meet you when I get round about this area here and we can start looking for the, the first cave of the four. Uh, which way will I go? Uh, yeah, I'll probably... Uh, ooh, so I can go up that way and across or I can go up this way and up. I think I'll, I'll head that direction. Okay, I will see you very shortly for you when I when I get to closer to the location. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, we're up north now. We can see where we are here. So we came up here. That there's the savannah there, uh, and we came up. Where did we go through? Shattered Basin, just through here. That's where there's one of the there's multiple of the big statues all along here, and one I think is around about here is fallen down, and just through there there's a gap that takes you up through into here, and then we've legged it over here, up here, and we're up at this section here, and you can just see in front of us. You can see there's the the little creature moving about. Uh, so I'm going to tell, can you stand guard here beside that skeleton? I'm sure everything will be fine. Uh, I'm going to take a lesson from previous episodes and try and put, is it going to let me put it down? Maybe you have to go on a bit flatter ground. Oh, what, 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 what's going on here? Overlapping. Let's try that again. Oh, there was, the, I saw a bit there. There. Wow. Right down the bottom of the hill. Okay, right, let's see what you've got. You can get your helmet on, you've got your food. Right, let's head in. Oh, there's another one up there. I think this is the first one here. There might be might be slightly further south. Alright, let's see what these things are actually called. Child of Jill. Okay, so that doesn't really help. But yeah, some sort of mutated bird type thing. 23,000. And I don't think... Oh, a bunch of them. So they do that wing thing like the bats do. Uh, Valencia, you got to do something. So they're 2,000 HP each and 23,000 XP each. So I don't think these ones give any feathers, demon blood. I don't think there's any black blood off of these. You have to get the, the three skulls. Yep, yeah, so let's just drop that and that. And that. Uh, what's missing from here? My daggers. My cleaver. Okay, yep, yeah, that's it. More. Ah, so there's one there. Here we go. Alright, let me get the saw back out. Ouch. you down. We'll have a few of these to get through as we go in. And as you can see it's pretty dark. Uh, so I, I don't think I'm going to use a spell to start with. But we'll use the spell when we get to the boss because I probably will want to use my shield. 
when I get there. I can probably avoid them, these guys. And then just let the Lucio do the tanking. Go. They don't seem to have anything on them. Up here, right. right, that's the boss in the middle of the arena there, so let's get this guy. Let me see how dark it is. Well, so to me it's not that dark, but for a YouTube video it's probably going to be pretty dark. Keep this up at the moment. Should have taken a bow and arrow to pull that guy. Does he have any? Oh, there is a couple of other followers. Okay, let's try this then. So it's three forces of life and death, and then this one. Cast a bit of light around me, which allows me to have my sword and my shield up, and hopefully that'll help you. C. So that is a, a three skull guy. So you get in and start fighting that guy. Oh, there's a, another one. Right, can I take you out? There's one down. There's another one somewhere. Oh. Alright, so what's this guy called? Shrouded by Darkness. Sure is. He's got 11,375 health, so it's not too bad, and Delincia has almost killed him. Oh, we're actually cold in here. Okay, alright, do you have anything on you? What have you got there? Specialist Ammunition 4. Fragment of power and a skeleton key. But more importantly, black blood. So that's given us 50 black blood. Oh, I hear. Oh, and hollow bone arrows. Nice. I hear. I know it's right. So if I then get this out, I. I can never remember finding a chest. Ha! Oh, he says, finding a chest. Blade of the Adventurer. Okay. I... I am sure that chest did, didn't used to be there. It used to be up on ledges, like up there or somewhere. Right, but we're done with this cave, so we can run out of here. Yep, this way. That was actually a lot easier, and I thought that would be a bit harder. But I guess I'm I'm rocking a pretty strong Delincia. Yep. Okay. Oh, have you respawned? Interesting. Right, so now I need to get to the next one, which I think is up that winding path. So I think I'll leave the horse here. Because if these guys are going to respawn, I don't want them to be attacking my horse. Hello, goats! Uh, oh, oh, a bunch of goats. Right, so... This path here then goes along the cliff face, I think. Watching out for these. Uh, maybe not. Do I have to go up higher? Find up this path here. Oh, there's a ghost wall. So I don't want to be touching that. 
Is it this one? I think I'm too high and it's down there a bit. Oh, in fact. Oh, oh, we don't want to get knocked off of there. Uh, okay, so how. Oh, see that? <laughs> Look at that goat go. How did I get. How did I get to that path? I must have to do some climbing. You can tell it's been a long time since I've been around here. Not an awful lot of stuff. Pre, pre sorcery, there wasn't other than trying to get the black blood tools, which I was never that fond of. Because once you've got star metal, you're pretty much in the same league. Is that it over that way? Sure is. Careful here. Take a mind. Oh, Delincio's away off the cliff. Come back up. Or that's it. Okay. Oh, here she comes. Let me take something to eat. Start getting some health back up. Jill's roost. And I'll get the torch out for the first part of this anyway. Oh, two of them come in. Cliff, is it? You the wrong fight. Take you down a bit at least. Ah, now you're dead. Okay, keep going. Uh, so you're just a normal one, too. She goes. Yeah. You um, we knocked her down again. You have to come back up here. I'm quickly change back to my shield. Too high up. Come on. <sighs> Animation goes on too long. Shield. Do that quick stab and then she does one long thrust at the end and holds it. Right, where are you? Oh, you're doing, doing damage to something. Down there. Oh, she's back behind me now. Right, are you the... Are you a three skull? Can you want to see your bar please? I don't think you are. Nope, you're just a normal one. Uh, which way am I going? I'm going down, down this way. I'm feeling a few of these caves are linked together if you go up these different platforms. But 
like I say, I've not been here very much, I'm not really an expert on these at all. Just the bomb? Ah, you're the three skull one throw. So it's six. Send to the MTN while I get the torch out. Link. That one. And that one. That, that was right. Right, and then I can get my sword and shield out. And still have a bit of light. So you're another 11,375. Fiend of Jill. Wings get you from behind. Get some healing going. Well, Delincia does all the hard work. that. That was the Act of Violence. 57, no armor pen. So that's quite nice. Let's see, any more black blood off of this one? Okay, so we've got 152 black blood now, which is actually more than enough black blood. I think we only need 100 in total. But we'll take it anyway and work out how to get back out of here. Right, and then we'll head on to the next cave. Which will be the third of the four. Like I say, I think there is linked caves here and you could possibly climb up there and get the other ones. Oh, there's a little hole. But we won't we won't play about with that. We're not we're not that interested in that kind of stuff. I'm just here for Black Bud and potentially the loot that we get off of the last boss in the fourth cave. Is this the way out? Yep. Right, how do we get to the next one? Where is the next one? Next one I think is up in that direction. Is there another path? So is is that up this way then? Is there a fourth third one up here? Let's have a look around this corner. I'm gonna get cold up here. We need a drink, but if we take a drink, we'll definitely get cold. Whoa! Eh. Down there? Is it down this path? Here we go! Dark there. Right, I'm going to have to take a drink here. It's not going to cool us down too much. And in here, what's this one? The scraps. 
torch. Round the back. And the Lincia. Oh, we've got two on us now. There is the Lincia. Stuck in the wall. Not get in there. Go on, get him. There we go. There's three of them there now. One down. There's four of them there now. Come on, go and get them. Get a good kick in here. Right, you coming out. That's it. Come out enough to get. An issue getting stuck here. That's another one down. Is this the fourth one? I think so. Right, let's maybe get you following us on a lower distance. Of course, she'll teleport to us once we get in here when she comes, yeah. That's a big open area. Difficult to light this up. We've got a drop down there. Uh, are you the big guy? You kind of look like the big guy. Let's send Valencia and see what happens. He is the big guy. Right, so six. You picked the wrong fight. Yeah. Yeah, that it's so dark, it's even hard to see the spells. Oh, and we're getting hit. Oh, did that interrupt our spell? We're getting hit again. This is not. This is not good. Let me get, my, let me get out of here. Oh, it's because it's one of you guys. Right. Oh. That'll do, and in the meantime, you've killed this one. Alright, so healing up. Oh, you're well wedged in there. Ooh, a bow! A legendary bow! A bit more black blood. What was that called? Hollow Bone Bow. 28 damage, 9 armor pen. Don't need the feathers, don't need the feral flesh, don't need the demon blood. We've got some more black blood, so that's 224 now. So we've now got double the amount of black blood that we actually need. But we've got one boss left to fight. So this one is a bit further away. So I should probably go back and get my horse and my the bedroll. If I do that, all these guys are going to respawn. So, where is it? It's right up over that direction somewhere. Ah, let's just run. Let's take a bit of 
Spiced haunch. I took that just in case it was going to be a bit cold up in the snow. So I'm going to risk it for a biscuit here. So hopefully I don't I don't die because it's going to be an awful long run. Uh, up, up there. Yep, must be up there. Not sure if uh, I, I took some demon fire orbs with me just in case, but I'm not sure if you actually get meteorites this far east. Yeah, I can put the torch away. There we go. There's another campfire. There's a chest outside the door. Right, let me get out of the way. I want to get knocked off the cliff. And I don't want Delincia to get knocked off the cliff either, so I'd like you to come over here. Okay. Now we're... Oh, we were lined up in the right direction. There's one down. Anything interesting in the chest? Nope. Right, this one should be the weird name. Binyakin Seal, that's the one. So this is the one that has the final boss in it that actually has a chance of dropping black blood tools. <laughs> I can't remember what his name is. God, take it. Okay. Which way? Let's take him out just in case. Oh, that's the guy. Oh, that, that didn't go far. Right, let's try the whole spell thing again. getting Blink. knockbacks this time. We're very cold in here. Well, we've got a solution to that as well. Because I've also got Soul Spiel with me. So we'll go, dunk, and now we're not cold at all. I love Soul Spiel. Much more useful because you spend a lot more time in the snow and the cold than you do in the volcano, typically, so... Use Soul Spiel a lot more. Although, I've now got both that and this morn, so we're going to be fine. I can't get in behind because you pushed him into the wall. Oh, there's another one appeared. So we'll take you on. Feasts on Flesh, that was the name of the boss. Not feasting on my flesh. Or Galaxias. Right. What has he got for us today? So he's got the Black Blood Pick. So a legendary pick hardened tool. So it's it's as far as I'm aware, I would have to check the numbers, but it's basically like star metal tier tool. I guess the only real problem is that it's legendary, so you would need legendary repair kits or a Numidian helmet to repair it. So 324 black blood. Right. Oh, that makes us very cold again, of course. So let's get out of here quickly. But there we go. That is the four caves of the Children of Jill, including the final boss where we are respawning again, are you? Are you just respawning because we left the cave? Because it's awfully quick. Alright, so now we have to work our way all the way back and get back to our horse, which is way over there. But, uh, of course, there'll be a whole bunch of respawns on the way to there. But 
I am just going to run back and I will bring you back when I uh, probably when I get back to base unless anything eventful happens I'll see you back at base okay see you in a bit okay I've brought you back just before I've just went and I've picked up the horse and I've picked up the bedroll and I just came down that foot which was just up there and I've just come down this path to work my way back and I've found what looks an awful lot like a rock branch type boss just sitting here there was also a Dina Master Huntress at the bottom of the hill which we've just taken out because I don't have uh, my taming stuff with me I didn't take any of that because I didn't expect to be finding any humans. So let's just put the horse on guard there. And hey, let's just do it for... Uh, wrong button, that button. Uh, come on. There we go. Just in case. Right. So these guys tend to be pretty nasty with their sweeping effects like that which knocks me for it is a rock branch yeah so it's typically pretty difficult for me to get in and fight them because he just does that 360 thing all the time which just keeps knocking me down so is Valencia going to be able to so my Whoop, and that, and that, look at that, took half of my health away with one hit. Let's get healed up. Did I get healed up? There we go. Ah, so, Delincia has taken them down fine. For these guys, I, I like to just sit and pepper them with arrows. I just I just can't really get in to get them down. Okay, maybe after he does his spike of branches I can maybe run and get a couple of stabs on him, but so when he's doing that, that's okay. But it's when he keeps doing that 360 swipe. Knocks me all over the place. To get to, uh, this one. I thought he does these branches when he does that double thing. There he goes. Shield up, shield up. No, oh, I didn't do it. Two hundred left. There he goes. All right, let's get a pick on him. Skeleton key, some vines, some other bits and bobs. All right, where is his chest? Up here. Here it is. What do we get? Sledge of Tolsalanti, which is 55 health damage and 45 armor pen with Sunder. Strength weapon. Fair enough. Okay. Right, now I can get on the horse and start heading home. And I will see you when I get there. Okay, we've made it. We're back home again. So we're going to head up and head to our sorcery room. We will put the black blood in there. What else did we need? Oh. Oh. Eh? Oh. So the <laughs> obviously when you when you put something in here, it's grayed out if it's not there and it lights up once it's in and it looks like the black blood isn't lit up but it's just because it's so black that even 
it is like greyed out blood so even though the black blood is in there it doesn't look like it is but I also need 10 dragon powder so dragon powder is expensive to make let's head down to the fireball cauldron let's see we should have slightly reduced costs because we've got the improved fireball cauldron with a tier 4 alchemist on it so to make one we're going to need one demon blood Okay, well we've got 12. We're going to need, so we need 10 of this, so we're going to need 70 brimstone, which we've got thousands of. We're going to need 750 steel fire, luckily we've got tons of that, and we're going to need 370 crystal. We should have, no. there we go, let's take a pile of that. Drop it in here. There we go. So we can now craft 10. Right. I will leave that crafting up. And while it... No, that doesn't go in there. While it does that, I will go and drop this stuff in where it needs to go. And I'll see you very soon. Okay. We're good to go. Alright. So we're going to drop the den 10 dragon powder in there. We should have everything we need, and we can go craft. We cast our spell again, or ritual, or whatever we're doing. And we've learned Abyssal Armor. Okay, so that should be very similar to... We need a heavy padding for that. Ten demon blood, we've got that and a sacrificial blood in a flask. So I need a heavy padding crafted. Uh, can you craft a heavy padding for me? Just a normal one, please. Don't actually have any craft, no. Come on. Drop that in there. Craft. So we've got a demon brought us the bow and the... Oh, oh, oh. It is another demon. I'll just lie down. Okay. So take that. Right, so let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five pieces. So, light armor, insatiable, so that means it's only so 59 minutes again. But it does strength weapon damage plus 10%, agility weapon damage plus 10%, follower damage plus 12%. So that's pretty awesome. So that's the same 10% but gives you 60 health. The follower damage 12%, 60 health. 60 health on that one. Carrying capacity plus 30 on that one, but with the damage as well. And stamina plus 15, but with the damage. So let's put that on. And that made us corrupt again. I'm not a great fan of the, the helmet. What is that on the top? Oh, can't get too close. Is it like a weird antler type thing wrapped around it? But I really like the rest of the armour. Oh, and it's kind of smoking. That's cool. Uh, can I remove the corruption? Let's go visit my dancer. Entertain losing corruption, but then it goes straight back up again. Yeah, so so the answer is no. If anything, any corruption that we lose, the armor puts it straight back on again. Okay, let's just go and. play with it. In fact, 
let me put what's what does this do this does additional five percent damage per piece so let me put this back on a minute and just see what damage i do uh, I want to do against a rhino because that doesn't really show properly because they've got such heavy armor. But we'll have to kill with that. So it's doing 34 per hit on that. Let's get a human, which gives you a more accurate. Uh, somebody, somebody, come over to me, please. So just light attacks, we're doing 112, 109. And then if we swap out to this, get 60 more health, which will slowly heal up. And then we'll take another guy on. Light attacks, 120. Yeah, so certainly is a more damage but not massively um, more and obviously we've got less armor because it's light armor uh, oh whoa what 666 from our kit with the mods on it but this light armor 1080 oofed and obviously well does it weigh less weighs 0 0.1 i noticed the mall and the bow weigh 0 0.1 whereas these weigh 13, 9, 13. So it weighs a lot less. Gives us carrying capacity on something. What was it? The gloves? Yep. Plus 30 carrying capacity. And 1080 armor. But you've only got it for 59 minutes. So again, it's another one of these killing spree armors. Summon it in. Very nice. And then go, go fighting with it. Because it eventually will just disappear. Awesome. Right. So that is the Abyssal Armor. I'm quite impressed with that. Let's go see what the spell in the next page is. And whether we've got everything we need. What was that noise? Oh, the rhino is coming after us. Charge. And then we can go. It's dead. Right, let's go take a look. Hey, put that stuff away. Here, and here. Maybe we've got to run out of spell pages, are we? We've got one, two, three. We've got four spell pages, but we can also craft another one. Can't be that many spells left. Uh, oh, I'll show you this. The specialist ammunition. I forgot to show you that. Uh, so let's use that. Learn specialist ammunition four. Uh, um, which teaches us fire spark arrows, acid arrows, and smoke arrows. Okay. Don't wonder if you get if it's always four or whether it's random. Not sure. Anyway, spells. Next spell: more black blood and five fragments of power. Well, I think we have that after our run through the unnamed city. Uh, where did I put them? Uh, nothing there. Uh, yeah, they are in here. So I've got eight, so let's grab five. It's kind of expensive, these spells now. Oh, no, see ya. Uh, five there. And uh, craft. Lightning storm. Okay, I've seen this one before. Uh, how corrupted... Well, I'm very corrupted, so I'll be okay. Uh, let me get some pouches. 
So let's take some burlap, a cloth, and a leather. One of each. Uh, let's head downstairs. And, oh, wrong side of the building. I love this smoke effect coming off this armour. That's cool. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Will I pull the Rhino King over? Let's pull the Rhino King over. And then, oh, wait a minute. Let's ca see where we cast it first. So, I'm guessing that's in... Linda. Oh, maybe not. It's going to be a force of nature, so cancel that. Let's try that again. Uh, forces of nature. So the third one. So, frozen bridge, no. Gust of air, no. Escalate. That's mass call, darkness, terror, no, molten magna, no, let's go it again. Arnest the primal forces of raw nature by calling a lightning storm. So it's a 40% corruption and leather spell. So let's get the Rhino King over. Aggro. That's it. He come in. He is coming. Pull them over and get these guys engaged. In chapter 2, this process is going to get quicker. Not a massively quicker, but from like 12 seconds to 8 seconds. There's the storm. Never saw how much damage that did. Him? I'm not seeing it hit him or do particularly massive amounts of damage to him. I wonder if it's a case that it doesn't do anything to three skull bosses. I don't really have anything else around here that can pull into it. Well, there's maybe a crocodile over here. Not exactly a brilliant test for it. Eh, where's the other crocodiles and they'll be so slow. Should be one around here somewhere. You. You. Come on. able to get over there before it. Stops casting. Will it even run away? Oh! Oh, it knocked the tree down. <laughs> I didn't know it could destroy... Things like trees. Oh, that's it stopped. Oh well. Yeah, okay. It's a it's a spell. It might have certain uses, especially if we've got lots of lots of guys together. Uh, did I get a key? I did get a key. Also got a key off of one. Why have I got a spare key? Hmm. Must have got a key off of one of those. But whoa, Mushashi's black blade, legendary. Katana, agility weapon. 
60 damage, 30 armor pen without any mods. Hmm, probably give that an armor pen thing and then give that to one of the the Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker Metallica squad because they are agility guys. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, looks pretty plain, but... Nice. Nice and fast. Ooh, uppercut. Yep. Very nice. Okay, right. That will do for today. We're running out of time now. So we've headed up to the Children of the Gilles. We've killed all four bosses from the four caves up there and got a whole bunch of black blood from them. Much more than we actually require. But uh, we then came back and we learned Abyssal Armor, which I'm wearing. And I just, I'm loving this smoking effect. Which you've only got for an hour, but as long as you keep killing things with it, you're going to keep keep it ticking over continually. Um, light armor, so you've got very little weight, uh, but it does lots and lots of armor value. We'll have faster agility. Once I get rid of a lot of this rubbish, we'll be in the green section, so we'll get super fast stamina regen. Uh, but it gives us excellent agility and strength weapon damage. And a hunch, bunch of other bonuses as well. Uh, we then learned Lightning Storm, which we just give that a test, and that was a bit underwhelming, but I'm sure it's got its uses of some sort. Although it's another one of these ones that you have to be 40% corrupted, which I'm, I'm not a huge fan of. But if you're wearing this armor, you're going to be 50% corrupted anyway. So we. We're almost out of uh, spells by now. I can't. There must be only be one or two more left, and I know that the last one is the transportery stone, which allows us to transport ourselves around the map, which is the one I'm really looking forward to. But we'll we'll leave the remaining spells until the next episode. So, thanks again for watching. Always appreciate all the support that I'm getting from you guys. Uh, so, if you like the video, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Oh.